What is up, globe trotters? What I like to do for the GeoGuessr Daily Challenge, we are incepted into a location somewhere in the world. We have three minutes to move around, figure out where we are. And we got five shots at a perfect score, 5,000 points. Chat, help me out if you think you know what we are, but no Googling, no Googling, only guessing. This looks like Europe to me. Unfree Pete. Why you want why you want to chain me up, Corbina? Only freedom. This actually looks like the Netherlands to me. It's the vibe I'm getting. Does anyone else like England, Sweden? We're getting a bunch of guesses, but they're all in Europe. I'm getting Holland actually from this. Does anyone else any 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 Dutch Dutchman like to agree or disagree with me? Denmark? Okay. Okay, we're getting a lot of Denmark. I like that too. Okay, it looks like we have a highway interchange with, with numbered signage. Can I get the numbers? How do I get up there? Probably via an on-ramp. Eastern Europe or Scandinavia, right. Okay, this doesn't actually look like it gets me on there. Yeah, I'm getting I'm I'm definitely agreeing with you for Denmark. Do we see any Danish language? Okay, let's see what that blue sign up there says. Oh great, it's the end of the damn road. Sealand Hamburg. Hamburg.de, Deutschland. All right. Northern Germany near Denmark. Let's go back to the pin. Is there anything the other way, maybe? Yeah. I like I like Hamburg or around Hamburg for this. But I don't think we're going to do better than that. Find Hamburg, go closer to, to Denmark. Okay. Like halfway, Flensburg, right on the border. Halfway, maybe Schleswig. What are the buildings on top? Um, I can't remember. I also don't speak German. <laughs> Charmund Garten Netzfrau. I got sod though. I definitely speak that language. It's called Hamburg because they grow cows. Yes, a science fact. It was Hamburg proper. Okay, not bad, not bad. When will you be lighting fireworks? Uh, two days ago. <laughs> Canada does it on the first, Drew. Oh boy, this is super dry. Okay, this is like Atacama Desert, Peru, Bolivia. The sun is in the southeast. Okay, so it's north of the equator. This gentleman could be South American. Okay, Spanish language confirmed. Could be Mexico. Middle Eastern, you guys think? I don't think so. I mean, we got to... What's it? Pare. Pare is Brazil? Dry for Brazil, no? Are there other stop signs in South America that say Pare? Celebrating independence from the British Empire... It's one of the world's great unifiers. <laughs> no, this is Spanish. Okay. Sun indicates Northern Hemisphere. Guatemala, you like. Okay. Are there very arid parts of Guatemala? Colombia. Colombia. Are there very dry parts of Colombia, too? Like in the north, right? Barranquilla? No? 
This is Eastern Mexico. I don't know. We're still guessing, folks. Why isn't it letting me pin? Colombia. Oh, 420, baby. We dab on that. We dab on that, ladies and gentlemen. Who's got their dabs ready? Who's got their dabs? <laughs> oh, baby. I think we're like this could be Cartagena, right? Oh, everyone's dabbing now. La Guajira Manaure. La Guajira is still. All right, come on. 20 seconds. Who knows where we are? Estacion Manaure. Where is that? Are we in Colombia? Are we wrong? Manara, the municipality. Yes. Yes. Looks like Toronto. Damn it. We're not going to get it. Far North Columbia. That's where we are. Far North Columbia. Far North Columbia. <laughs> Question number three. Blessed by the 420. Yes. The Dabulus Maximus. All right. Also Spanish language. Esquila. Sun is in the Northwest Southern Hemisphere. Okay. Who died on the sign? Riff. Another Southern Hemisphere quote. Hey, man. We can't all live on the equator like you, unbalanced blitz. <laughs> Ornamental plants and fruits. Bonanza. Different part of Colombia? Oh, boy. No, Colombia is 100% the Northern Hemisphere, isn't it? No, that's not true. The, the equator does pass through Colombia. You're right. Um, Ecuador. Nice. Ciudad del Coca. The city of Coca in Ecuador? Let's go. The school said mixta, which means it's an area with a portion of indigenous population. Yeah. In, in Canada, they're called Métis because they're mixed uh, with French. Down here, they would be mixed with Spanish. They're called mixta. I'm from Ecuador. Okay. Okay. Can you guess where we might be? Mono fundamental. We got a, we got a real deal Ecuadorian in the chat. Everyone listen to mono fundamental and help us get that 5k. Coca was inland on the map. Ciudad de Coca? Really? Where? Inland. East. More inland. Coca. No way! No way! That just looks like... Okay. Well, I mean, hey. Worth a guess, right? Now, that bus is probably in, in any number of directions from the city, but that gives us a great spot to start from. 20 seconds. Let's see how close we are. Ciudad de Coca. We bet on Coca. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Let's see what happens. We're in a neighboring city. 4940. Look at the, would you look at that. 420 to Coca. It really is a gateway drug. Excalic. That was gold, sir. That was comedy gold. Question number four. 
Bishkek Petroleum. I wonder if it's Bishkek. <laughs> All right. That was easy. Do you want to try and pin down the part of Bishkek we're in? Or just go to the final question. It wasn't even Bishkek. It wasn't even. It was, in a, it was a city called Caracol. Oh, boy. Final question, folks. We are nailing it. All right. Last question is Pediatra. Porfrio Guzman Ramirez, Mexicano. So Mex is that Veracruz? No. What does that say? I think we're in Mexico, guys. Yeah. Mexican flag. We're in Mexico. Okay. All right, folks. What city? Eso es Mexico. Oh, no. Drew the copy pasta. No. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> I just stood up to turn you off. Oh, man. I was waiting for the punchline. Despacho, mini deposito. Anyone have a guess on the city? Clearly, Drew spending his paycheck wisely. Yes. Someone help me guess the city. It said Thomas Edison. Yeah, it did. It did. Keep looking. Okay. Okay. I am going to keep looking. Trooper. These guys look like troopers. That's for sure. Working hard. You think it's Mexico City? Okay. Safe as a guess of anything. Amadeus Estetica Unisex. I saw Santiago. Is there a Santiago, Mexico? Some of the Spanish I know is absolutely useless for this, indeed. Biblioteca! Donde esta la biblioteca? That was a big one. Boston. All right, well, we'll try Mexico City. It's not a bad round. Anyway, you slice it. We were in Oaxaca. Ladies and gentlemen, 22,430. Is this just outside the gold? I think that's just outside the gold, right? Yeah, 22.5 is the gold. Let's see if I get the world. Though. That is Tanzania. What are the neighbors of Tanzania? That's a lot. You got Burundi. You got um, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Kenya. Malawi. You got Mozambique, uh, you got Rwanda, you got Uganda, and you got Zambia. Nice. Okay, what is the capital of Tanzania? Um, that I don't know. Who knows the capital of Tanzania before I have to look it up? It does kind of look like Wisconsin, eh? Dar es Salaam?
Nope. A Dodoma. All right, we've learned something. What is the flag of Tanzania? Is this one? Yes. What is the population of Tanzania? Uh, 20 to 50? 59 million people live in Tanzania. That is wild. That is wild. And they use a shilling. Yes. Tanzania, officially, the Republic of Tanzania is a country in East Africa within the African Great Lakes region that borders Uganda, Kenya, Indian Ocean, Mozambique, Malawi, Zambia, Rwanda, or Rwanda, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Mount Kilimanjaro. Why not let a man live, Jaro? Africa's highest mountain is in northeastern Tanzania. According to the 2022 National Census, there's a population of nearly 62 million people, making it the most populous country located entirely south of the equator. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for helping me. Thank you for hanging out. And wherever you find yourself in this big old world, I wish you the very best.